Hi, I'm Mike Meyerhoff, our Director of Technology at Liberty. Today I'll talk about Liberty's approach to DFID analysis. So DFID is a really critical test to get some important fracture and reservoir parameters such as fracture gradient, closure stress, the type of leak off, for example, are there is there a presence of natural fracks around the well, uh, reservoir pressure, permeability, or KH. And then we do the analysis in a software uh, called Frac Pro. So I will run through some of the steps we do in the analysis. So step number one is estimating the fracture gradient and the closure stress. We use the standard G function plot to do that. And the way we pick the closure stress is basically the first departure from the green colored uh, G derivative curve. And that will be our closure stress estimate. From that, we can get net pressure, the uh, efficiency of the, of the defit. And then the frac gradient we simply get from the extrapolation of the bottom hole pressure um, at the end of uh, pumping. Um, the next step then is we can generate, once we have the closure pressure, we can generate the after closure analysis plots according to Nolte. This is a, a specialized squared linear flow time function on the x-axis. And we try to diagnose the different flow regimes that happen after closure. One of the important ones in unconventional reservoirs is the pseudo-linear flow period. So we identify that window. In rare cases, we may see possible pseudo-radial flow, but in unconventional reservoirs that are really low permeability, the pressure disturbance is typically a tight ribbon, so it's very rare to actually see pseudo-radial flow. So our analysis hinges mainly on the pseudo-linear flow. So then we use this pseudo-linear flow time window in step number three to estimate the reservoir pressure or pore pressure. And we do that by drawing a regression line through that pseudo-linear flow window with the green and the red vertical lines, and we extrapolate back to the y-axis uh, the reservoir pressure, in this case about 5,400 psi or so. This is similar to the techniques in uh, pressure transient analysis such as the Horner plot. Once we've identified the reservoir pressure, then the next step is the most labor-intensive step. We try to estimate the reservoir permeability, or KH. This is accomplished first by running what we call a before-closure estimate of permeability. So we match the actual uh, pressures during the fall-off, and sometimes the derivative we can match as well. Um, and then we also extrapolate with that model the reservoir pressure. And that reservoir pressure has to be roughly in line with the reservoir pressure previously estimated from the pseudolinear flow extrapolation. In this case, the permeability is about 0.017 millidarcy. The next step then is to actually verify that before closure permeability estimate with the after closure data, kind of as an independent step or a confirmation of that estimate because the before closure analysis technique can be fairly non-unique. So what you see here, the, the green uh, vertical line, that is the start of pseudo-linear flow. And then in the red circle, you will see a small green triangle. That is the predicted start of pseudo-linear flow from the before closure estimate of permeability along with a, a rough half length that we also get from that. And so when that triangle matches up with the expected or observed green line, we have a good fit of the before and after closure data. So essentially the DFID analysis is complete when three conditions are met. The before closure model matches the actual pressure data up to closure. And we also uh, predict the right reservoir pressure that we observed from the uh, pseudo-linear flow analysis. And then all these before closure estimates in terms of permeability and half length predict the correct observed pseudo-linear flow, so it's consistent with the after-closure uh, estimates. This is a fairly complicated process, so if you have any questions uh, or need more details, please contact us at uh, libertyfrac.com. Thank you.